go. If there are no questions, we gotta go. We got stuff to do. All right, Zinemax 2.0 launch is happening this week. I gotta tell you, the first version of Zinemax by Arif Chandra, my buddy at VidInstant, is an excellent designer. This kid is just, he's an, he's an animal. He's a madman. <laughs> And he does some really beautiful design work. Zinemax 1.0 was, gosh, I don't know, three, four years ago? And it was seriously one of my favorite packages. So I've been kind of looking forward to this. Uh, it is the new version that is out. I'll let you go look at all the details. A couple things that I like about it, of course, are the beautifully designed templates. And uh, we're also going to talk about LUTs in a little bit. There's a nice toolkit of what are called LUTs, which stand for lookup tables. And we'll check that out in a little bit, but here's your freebie. And we aren't really going to go over this too much because there's not really a whole lot to point out. And this is really uh, kind of nice. There's some nice animations. Again, they, they move kind of quick, but they're meant to be that way. I like the font that it uses. This is called... Marola. One of the things that are kind of interesting in a lot of the ones that he gives us is that he also provides some of the kind of cool footage. So here, if you watch this particular, um, the, the sample video that is made out of this, the uh, video content is really kind of good. And I picked this template specifically because if you need any food footage, you know, there's just about everything you would want in here. Now, what you'll notice is that each of these slides looks like it's a different video, but it's not. It's all a single video that are just different scenes that have been stitched together. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Here, we can see in the selection pane that the video name ends in 821. Okay, that's just the number name of the video file. Okay, oh, 821, oh, 821. So a lot of these are all the same. So let's click on this. Let's go to playback. Let's go to trim video. What you'll see is that this slide has like, you know, just a couple of, um, couple of seconds here that are selected to play. But if we were to look at, kind of scrub through it here, like I say, the the video stuff is really kind of nice, you know. And so the technique that is here is a lot of times when you're making, if you want to use video footage in PowerPoint, one way to do it is to just kind of shoot your video footage in scenes. And it could even be one video file. If it's one video file, then you can, you know, just drop it in and tell PowerPoint on the playback tab, trim which portion of the video you want. Okay? And you can go from like scene to scene and stuff like that. So this is um, kind of interesting. If you want to change the video file, here's kind of how I would do that. Well, this is awfully cool footage. You know, what if I don't want it? <laughs> so I'm going to hide all. I'm going to turn my video track back on. And I'm going to kind of move it out of the way. And then, let's see. Let's go find us a video clip uh, footage. So let's grab a piece of footage, like these people running. And I'm just going to drop it in. So I'll scroll out a little bit. Let's get this centered. Uh, where I want. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the original video. And this is kind of a, a hack, important way to do this. Let's go to Animations. Let's go to Animation Painter. Boom. And then let's click on our new video. Boom. Okay, now I'll move this guy down to the bottom. And I can actually delete this if I want. Delete the original video. I'm just going to hide it for now. And when I show all, okay, now my new video is going to play properly 
let's look at the animation pane, right? So it has a play animation, uh, animations. It has a play animation. Uh, oh, you know, we could probably move this up to the top. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, starts with previous and plays automatically. Okay, so that's kind of the, the scoop that we want to have there. If we go to uh, playback, plays automatically and starts with previous. Those are two critical things to make this thing work right. But if you don't want to do those manually, set them up, then use the animation painter trick that I just showed you. And like I say, it works best if you pull this to the side, okay, so you can um, pick it over here with the animation painter and then paint it onto the new one, right? So that's uh, pretty much the gist of you know, all you have to do there, and then let's on the playback be aware that, let's see, you know, I have a 19 second video. Well, this slide's going to play for 19 seconds unless I pick something, right? So I could do that. I could, you know, pick some footage, say okay, and then uh, life should be good. Okay, uh, hopefully, you get the idea on that. like it. It's good stuff.